What a fantastic program again. Just falling short here in this Frontier Division. Now a big horn has built a monster in this NA3HL that will not soon go away. Last year's Bighorn squad ascended into rarefied air. No other Frontier Division team has made it to the NA3HL Frazier Cup semifinals two seasons in a row. And while that may sound like an accomplishment to many people, to the few, it is a reminder of goals falling short. That's a, it's a frustrating feeling uh, for any athlete, I think. And for me, I've always been a very competitive person. I want to win, whether it's trash can ball or hockey so uh, very frustrating feeling but it was good for me as far as staying motivated throughout the summer and having a purpose every day whether it was in the weight room or on the ice and I took that very seriously. I mean we're all here for the same reason hopefully and that's to win a Fraser Cup. I mean the last two years we've been close. I've watched the first year and last year being a part of it there's nothing I want more than to get a ring this year and bring something back to Helena with my name on it to be uh, solidified forever here. The biggest thing is just coming back with a chip on my shoulder and ready to prove everybody wrong and prove ourselves right that we're ready for this. This offseason has been chock full of major changes for the monster in Helena. For the first time in well over 20 years, the Helena Ice Arena is now locally owned. It was 100% important for both parties, Oren and myself, that this place stays a rink. And you do everything you can to continue to keep it a rink. I always tell everybody, like, it'll stay a rink or I'm gonna go broke trying, you know. Um, from the rink, to the team, to the fans, to the community, it's all integrated together. The monster's everybody. The monster is, you know, your. 59601, 59602 area codes. That's the monster. It's not, it's not any one part of it. Is it big? Is it growing? 100% it is. You know, it's even to the point we've, we've kind of coined the phrase is, Steed Arena is the seventh man. No other team in our league or uh, most leagues uh, have that ability that they can say that. And I think that when you look at the monster, the monster is, is Helena. It's, it's the Bighorn community. Anytime that you step foot in here for a Bighorn game, you're part of that monster. And, and that's what it is, in my opinion, is, is that culture that's grown now that's just, it's a snowball going down a mountain. And good luck stopping it. The next biggest change made this off season is the addition of Alex North, hired as the associate head coach. I'm Alex North, Associate Head Coach and Director of Player uh, Personnel for the Helena Bighorns from Faribault, Minnesota. The fun funny story is that I actually played my first junior hockey game here back in 2006. And I, I was playing for Billings at the time, back when both teams were still in the North American Hockey League. Yeah, and uh, I was playing in Kansas City at the time. I got called up to Billings and uh, got to come here, experience you know, a crowd back then. and. That was quite an experience, and uh, unfortunately, the game definitely did not go our way. Uh, but it was something that I kind of remember coming into the area and town and realizing how cool and special place this is. Camp has been very good. Uh, we've thrown a lot at them, and I think this group has picked it up very quickly. It's going to be a fun year. They're all working hard. They're competing. They're challenging each other. It's been it's been really cool to see. So I, it's I'm excited to get it going.
The Monster may have been a key inspiration for a song that has resonated with sports fans across the globe. The song For the Glory by All Good Things sat at number one on the rock charts and has been playing in sporting venues all over the world. It has also been featured on NHL on NBC during Stanley Cup playoff game montages. The band's frontman and lead vocalist, Dan Murphy, grew up in Helena and remembers his experience as a child at the Ice Pirates games. We're gonna stand on top with our hands in the sky Gonna raise our cup to the stadium lights For the glory For the glory For the glory We celebrate with the city tonight Hear the hometown cheer, it's the ultimate high For the glory For the glory We do it for the glory For the glory Dan from All Good Things, singer of All Good Things, born and raised here in Helena and uh, live in LA now, but uh, happy to be back. Um, I mean, we were just writing a pile of music and, uh, you know, kind of stumbled on this, really it was that intro synth and it just kind of felt like stadium worthy, you know what I mean? It just felt like it was, uh, you know, a hype track that, that would just pump people up before they go play beer league or whatever it is, you know? I think lyrically, we. We didn't necessarily say like, hey, let's write a hockey anthem or a hockey song, but I definitely tried to sneak a lot of that in there, you know, on purpose. You know, as a huge hockey fan, I just wanted to hear a song during puck drop, you know, like just uh, five seconds of a puck drop, you know. So, you know, that was the goal. It ended up, you know, happening. The first time I ever heard it was at a Bruins game, you know, uh, like I was telling you, Doc Emmerich was announcing, they're like panning out from the Bruins logo center ice and they played that song in the stadium and that was the first moment and I was like holy crap this actually worked man like people are it's resonating with the hockey community and the fans and uh, yeah yeah honestly that song came together in an afternoon it was one of those songs that just fell out and it took no effort and you know the bridge which is this kind of crazy wordy almost rappy thing you know it fell out in like five ten minutes it just was one of those like songs that had no struggle you know one of those kind of meant to be things or whatever but uh yeah, man, I think we kind of thought there was something special with that song. We just never thought that it would be played during Stanley Cup runs and in stadiums and on, you know, jumbotrons before games. So, yeah, got super lucky there, man. I always wanted to work in hockey and, uh, I don't know, just be part of it in some way. And it's uh, been cool that music of all things kind of, like, tied that together and we we're able to, you know, get this all over our hockey games, man. Like, nothing cooler than hearing your song before an NHL playoff game, dude. That was... Such a crazy thing. Yeah, man, I used to go to a lot of Ice Pirates games as a kid, you know, growing up, had a lot of memories watching that team. And uh, yeah, man, I saw a lot of games here as a kid and, you know, kind of inspired me to, well, one, become a fan and then try to play at home and screw around my driveway, roller hockey, pond hockey, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it was always awesome having a local team come out support. And uh, yeah, as a little kid, man, we were fired up. Now that I'm coming back and seeing the you know, the, like you said, the monster grow and the hype build and this place is packed. I mean, I, I went to a few games last year that were sold out. So, uh, yeah, it's been exciting just to see, you know, all the, the positive changes. And, uh, yeah, man, you guys got blue LED goal lights and a big LED panel. There's always upgrades. Every time I come in, I'm sitting in a brand new VIP lounge. So it's, it's exciting to see, uh, see it grow, you know. The Bighorns begin their 2023-24 campaign on a brand new sheet of ice at Steed Arena in Helena, Montana. Yeah, obviously it's a long recruiting process and that kind of never stops. Um, during the summer you go out and, and you're gone five times a year, sometimes a week at a time, um, and then always always working the phone. So uh, putting that kind of time into it and, and that um, long hours and stuff like that and then finally seeing the product on the ice is, is pretty, uh, pretty special. Alex and I identified the needs we needed and that and those some uh, some guys that could put the puck in the net, some more of those, some guys that were gonna play kind of a, a heavy style of game and that could skate and, and fit in that kind of system with a faster style of uh, a game. Yeah, camp has been great. Uh, we've got a lot of new guys in here. We've got a solid group of returners, but I think everybody's clicked really well so far. We've got a great group of guys in the locker room, great group of hockey players that come to work every day. 
really enjoy what we do and that's huge for building a team and having success as a team as well. This year, join us as we bring you unparalleled access into Joel Feimster's 2023-24 journey. From the bench to the ice, from work to home, experience behind the scenes of a junior hockey player's life for an entire hockey season, all while showing the rest of the junior hockey world what it takes to build the monster. <laughs> Forgot I'm mic'd already. <laughs> Forgot I'm mic'd already. Lights out, line them up, we'll knock them over. Lights